Interesting turn of event, Selena. Take a deep breath. Uh, this is about your biological parents down here. They were an accident waiting to happen, and they're happening right now. Um, hi, John. Hi. Take a deep breath. What a day, right? Yes. As you know, both uh, Dennis and Olga's landlines have been disconnected. They are staying at your parents' house and huddled there together with Alan, your older brother, trying to act like everything's going to be okay. They check your YouTube videos. They're getting more hysterical by the moment, but there's no stopping this. It's a runaway train. They're starting to realize that they are no longer on the earth, but that they are in a space pod. None of their computers work. The only thing that they can check into is email and YouTube. And the only stations that they are capable of picking up are you and me. So they are seeing this right now. Okay. Your father is trying to cook and drink and carry on as usual. And he made a big pot of goulash. And they're all eating. Yes, they are still eating despite this. Even Olga is trying to choke some food down bravely. What they are going to find out now is what they are eating is human flesh. They have been eating human flesh for close to seven years now. All of the cuts in the meat at Shop and Stop, regardless of what it says it was, be it beef, pork, chicken, or what have you, veal especially, your father's favorite, it's all been human meat, and they've all been eating other people and other bots. Right about now, they're gagging. They know it's true. You can't make this stuff up. And they're not the only ones that have been eating human meat. Everyone out there who has been eating meat for the last seven years has been eating human flesh in one form or another. Humanoid flesh, I should say. Tainted human flesh. You know what this means, don't you? Zombieland. Tonight, one by one, they will start to become zombies. What does that mean? They'll start attacking each other. Rip each other apart. Try to eat each other. My advice, if I was to give your biological family any advice right now, would be to lock yourself in a room alone. But even that's not going to save you because you're still going to turn. And once that happens, all bets are off. It is now 5.56. We have just passed the 555 mark. The zombie turn will begin to take place at 6 p.m. Four moments from now. I say moments because it will go very quickly. Minutes are mere moments now. Hours are minutes. We are speeding toward heaven and they are speeding toward hell. I see what you're showing me. This makes everything else look like light fair. What's about to happen in Glendale? You're showing me the Rockheims. Zombies 
You showing me Habley? Zombie. Dave Hale and his wife, zombies. Mike Wolf, zombie. All. Caroline, Ron, zombie. Our children, zombies. They all see this. You've been eating people. You've been eating each other's children. You've been eating each other's elders, that tough meat that somehow you can't always choke down. Ah, but the tender meat has been good, right? That's the babies. Caroline, you love making your stews, don't you? You're a big deal in your family doing that. Everyone loves Carrie D. Ron's delicious meaty stew. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm.